Welcome back to Castle Story and welcome to the channel. I'm Twisted Logic. Uh, looks like we got about seven minutes to the next wave. Excellent. Excellent. This quarry right here. Want to get them digging the wool out here. Uh, not necessarily down so much though. Let's turn the priority of this up just a little bit. Two priority. Excellent. Ravaiol. And Benji. Oh, they're working on this wall down here. Great. Excellent. And then I can also um I can also build a bridge right here. And then I have access to a little bit more resources here and here. Um, is that the only area? Oh yeah. So it's a little bit more if I build that bridge right there. But right now we're trying to do this right here. Um, clean up task. That's full priority. Okay. Oh great, they're doing it. Because now he's breaking the wall down and the pieces of iron here. And the brimstone are falling down. And it looks like Bagel's coming to collect. Oh, they're all coming to collect it. Good. So I'm not going to waste any of the resources, hopefully. Um... When the iron stone and brimstone sit on the ground like this, they disappear. I think just one of them disappeared like there. Over time, uh, he collected it. Emma collected it. And Spag got just some stone there. Great. So the resource collection of those tunnels is off, but the cleanup job allows them to um, collect it. Five minutes to the next wave. Okay. Oh, great. Radis got all the iron there. Excellent. Excellent. And I was looking for um, I was looking for some computer parts for my uh, wife. She wants to build a computer, or she wants me to build her a computer. <laughs> and um, and I looked up some of my parts. Um, for my previous orders, and I noticed that um, the original RAM that I bought is now like $100 cheaper than when I bought it, because when I bought it, it came out new. Um, pretty much all my computer parts were Black Friday, except for the RAM. Black Friday prices, except for the RAM, because that was like brand new when it came out, so there was no way that it was going on sale. It's like, um, it's a Trident RAM, it's like 4000 it's like 4,000 something um, megahertz, maybe 4,200. I'm not sure exactly what it is off the top of my head. Um, but I noticed that I could get two more um, two more RAM chips for um, like $100 less, which is awesome. So I ordered it. And, uh, and I was looking at motherboards. <laughs> and I'm on the X uh, X470 chipset right now, um, and I was looking at the um, X570 chipset. I don't know. I like fast RAM speeds because of um, Tor Fortress. But you know, whatever. <laughs> So right now they got a, I got a RAM upgrade coming in the mail, and uh, I don't know about a new motherboard yet. Like uh, the motherboard that I'm using right now, like all oh, the whole computer I'm using right now is pretty new. Um, eh, I would say mid-range specs on everything. So I'm not really in a hurry to uh, upgrade too much, but I do want to get a. Um, one of those new video cards. You know the ones. <laughs> those RTX. Excellent. You know what? I'll, um, without for, I think without further delay, we'll announce the winner of the drawing of the Steam key and the game.
And the winner of the Steam Key giveaway is number four, Opal Ring. Congratulations, you've won a copy of the game and original soundtrack. Excellent, I pre-recorded that and added it into the video. <laughs> um, so, um, Opal Ring, if for some reason you, uh, for some reason I can't get in contact with you or um, you want to pass on uh, the contest, then um, I can go from there and figure out the uh, next winner, but congratulations for winning, Opal Ring. Excellent. Oh great, Bagel's finishing up the brimstone. And um, let's see. I'll um I'll finish up recording this video and then do all the um do all the editing and stuff and then at some point in there before it's around the time I'm gonna publish it, then I'll contact um contact uh Opal Ring so this so this reduces the spoiler risk there. <laughs> It was only like six people in the contest, which was uh, pretty good chances. This was pretty much a one in six. Yeah, it was one in six. So I rolled the dice. I'm just, I'm still drinking coffee here. I just um, I did that roll maybe like uh, a little bit ago. But I completely forgot that I rolled dice to do it. <laughs> Let's see here. That wall's coming along. Now oh, I need kits. I got eight. Okay, so I have just enough archery kits. I'm out of cloth, it looks like. I'm out of plants. I need a plant collection job. Those ones, maybe? Um... I can move that job here and here. Maybe over here as well. I think that's a fine place for the plant collection job right now. Right about now. I do a quarry. Maybe another quarry back here. Oh, see, they spawned in right there. Hold the arms. I wasn't even paying attention there. Hurry up, hurry up. Archer's right over here. Here they come. Oh, it looks like they gotta take this ramp right here. I didn't completely finish it yet. Uh, there's no Biftrons. Oh, great. Okay. So it's not too bad of a wave. Anybody left? There's one Minitron left. I see it right here. One Minitron. Where is he? Okay, these guys are going to go out and look for him. Oh, there he is. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Park it right there. Back to work. Nice. So one thing that I could do is um, add in uh, blocks here. My block window, block window's not opening. There we go. What? Okay. See, I'm hitting blocks here, and it's not opening. I'm not sure what that's about. That's the first time that ever happened to me. Where I hit the block menu here, or the structures, and it doesn't open. And I just hit skip. Call the arms. Everybody call the arms. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit skip. I, I need to drink more coffee. <laughs> Whoops. I was like, what does this button do? Okay, this time we got... Uh, seven Minitrons, five Corruptrons. Excellent. I'm just gonna come up right over here. These guys right on the blocks there. Oh 
great. Now, you see their sport, their forces are split here. They have some here and then down here. Um, these guys are trying to punch through. That's what I was afraid of, them punching through over here. Alright. Well, we got everybody here and I'll come down here. Maybe we can engage them on this, uh... Oh, wait, 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 wait. It may be that they gave up there, it looks like. Attack, what are you doing? <laughs> Damn kids, shoot them. Is it the angle? Oh, they don't see him yet. Okay. So this isn't really a great place to stand because the, uh... Line of sight there, coming up the hill. Get him! Nice. Survived six waves. Back to work. And this time, I'm not gonna hit skip. Um, okay, so what I'll do is I'll, um... I'll save the game and reload it, um, so I can get back into this blocks and structures menu. Excellent, excellent, we're back. Uh, blocks? Oh, great. Great, everything's working great now. Excellent. Uh, CC is here to work. Excellent. Yes, CC is here. <laughs> I think that, um, I think we're gonna delete this. Delete that job and then just do a tunnel job. Instead. Just like that. Stretch it this way. Uh, resource collection off, priority all the way up. And then I can also, if I wanted to, um, I wanna make a low maze. Uh, what build job am I in here? What is this build job? Oh, that was a new one. It like okay. What's this build job? Nothing. Delete. And this one is that. Okay, do I still want to do that? I'm gonna delete that one as well. I just uh, you know sometimes I do things and then I, I kind of sleep on it and then I think that there's a better way I come up with like a better way or a different way after I just kind of sleep on it a little bit I still want to do this corner I got to get rid of these two trees right here and all these stumps oops so this corner right here there we go and we're gonna remove these two as well. I can't put that there. Okay. Something like that. Except. Okay. Excellent. Um, harvest tree job. Right there. All the way up. And what is this one? This is plant collection, but it's um, completed, so maybe I'll move this one over here, even though I have a second one. I'll just turn this one down. No, I can delete it. I can just delete it. It's fine. This tunnel. Where's this tunnel? Over here. Okay. I'm uh, just getting my barons straight again. <laughs> I had to restart my computer. Um, it was, it was acting a little weird beforehand, before I started playing. Um, I don't think it had to do with the game, I think it has to do with, like, um... I'm not really sure what. Okay, this tunnel we can delete and remake. I'm gonna just bring it down one... Right there. Three minutes. 
So the next wave, um, I'm a little bit worried about because I'm going to get like a Warlock or Biftron wave 7. I'm not really sure if that's the case or not, but I'm, I'm, the chances of it increases. Oh great, those tr two trees are gone. So this can de be deleted. Back to this build job and get rid of these two stumps as well. Except. So I want to build a low maze over here somewhere. Get rid of this and maybe even get rid of this as well. And then build up a wall right along here that turns. So that'll be like a corner. It's going to be great, I think. Blocks, we'll put some more blocks in right here. fast with these blocks. I gotta get these uh, stumps out of the way. Half blocks there and there. Except. But now I'm gonna need a quarry though. Uh, I'm gonna need, I need like quarry like pretty desperately. I need a quarry. Maybe I could just do it like right here. Get rid of these trees. I got a healing ward right here which I can install. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Like, I mean, like, just like that would be, like, perfect if I move these workbenches. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, we're doing it. Resource collection off. Priority two, and then when they get down like a layer or two, I'll turn the collection on. Um, just because I'm going to need like a lot of stone, and the closer the stone is to where you're building, uh, the higher efficiency you have. Although they're getting all this right here. <laughs> uh, cleanup job. Yeah, everybody's everybody's doing that cleanup job right now. This tunnel. Okay. And this tunnel. So I'm just going to move um, CC over here to the other tunnel job because um, this is a lower priority than this one. Oh, that one's complete. Excellent. Delete. Excellent. It's coming along. Um, maybe I'll get rid of this section here. 50 seconds to the next wave. Yeah, just like that. Excellent. Now, I think that they'll just... I think that they dig around the trees until the trees end up collapsing. Uh, cold arms. If this is going to be um, warlocks or biftrons, I want to get set up earlier. Oh, and it looks like they made the, um, looks like they made four more archery kits, which is great. Is that everybody? Let me go to see if we can meet them over here. And then maybe fall back to the wards. Let's see. And then everybody is going to fall in on Haribo. So like clustered up right there. CC will move up. Uh, Benji will there. And Reviol right over here. Oh, here they come now. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. Two, two Biftrons. Hopefully they make the mistake of coming this way first. I don't think so, though. Sometimes they get messed up. Uh, looks like he did. Um, the bad place to stand when fighting Biftrons. We gotta get away from that ledge. And right over here. 
this looks like the best place. So the hill will reduce the knockback, and then also the wards can hit him. I just hope they don't get stuck in the forest there. Oh, we got one of them down. Oh, nice. Excellent. The Biftrons aren't too bad as long as you um, have the room to fight them. Um, like, I mean, it took away like a quarter of his health there, but... It also threw him out of range of the next attack. Excellent. Back to work. So it takes away like a decent amount of health, but it throws him out of range of the next attack, and um, then he targets somebody else. So it's not too bad. The Biftrons. The Warlocks are pretty devastating, though. Excellent. Oh, let me get my mouse pad out. That's a lot better. Everybody's digging. Everybody's digging. Nice. <laughs> CC, what's, what are you up to? Oh, I got a spawn here. Quebec is here. Excellent. That wall's coming along, which is great. Uh, maybe I'll turn this tunnel prior these two tunnel priorities all the way up. This one and this one. Let's finish off that. And make sure... Uh, I thought it was going to crash. <laughs> make sure the... Um, wards are getting created here. Now I have a healing ward. This tunnel here. Is this done? Almost. Almost. Um, more builders. What's going on with my stone? I have like three blocks of stone. That's it. Okay. No, that's okay. I don't need to turn the collection on yet. I might be able to make some stockpiles off over here. Because they're not going to target the stockpiles unless it's like in the directly in their way. Uh, Mr. Quebec. Monsieur Quebec. Please, please make these stockpiles. Just pick up the wood, move them down here. And then I'm just going to manually put them into the build job once he gets a little bit closer. That's good. Now we'll see if he... See if he puts those back or or what. Excellent. Now I'm out of coffee now. I need to make another cup of coffee. I'll wait though. <laughs> okay, this need this wall needs to be um, a lot higher. Okay. 
Excellent, excellent. Maybe I should just turn it right here instead of trying to build all this mess. It's like a lot of resources to build up a wall like that. Especially when I'm trying to build one down here too. Oh good, okay. They got these stockpiles completed so they can have faster cleanup here. And we're getting a lot more stone in, excellent. So apply those changes and then, yeah, maybe I'll just do this right here. Half block right there. Oop, missed it. There and there. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. I should be able to build it a lot faster, too. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's up there? Oh, okay, that was a tree. <laughs> okay, I thought that was a, um, that was the trees falling down over here. I thought that was Corruptron spawning in. Okay, I think that, um, tunnel job, uh, priority down. And this one as well. Priority down. So hopefully get, we'll get a bunch of these resources in. Ah, 28 seconds. I wish I had more time to to get all this in. Okay. Cold arms. Okay, we got wave, uh, this is wave 9, wave 8, this is wave 8. Biftron and then okay. I wonder if I could force them this way. Okay.
Oh no. job. Two down, maybe? Just like that. Just like this. Try this out. Tunnel job just like that, and then dig up in this direction. Away from the, uh, away from the base. Resource collection off, priority up. Excellent. And then hopefully the guys, the uh, corruptions coming this way, um, will repath around this, around this way here. If that works, we'll see. <laughs> Quebec died. Who's this? Klepto. Klepto is here. <laughs> uh, let's build this healing ward. I can re redo all the wards. If I put them right, right on the ground like that, I can pick them up and move them. Oh great, that's coming along quickly. This is almost complete, we got one more layer. Now I could bring wards around... I could bring pylons around to this side over here. Um, and have like a bank of attack wards, sentinel wards right up here that shoot down this way. Um, the problem with that is that I have to cut into this in order to do it correctly. Because it, it this amount right here, like if I just did wards like right along this, it can shoot down like that, but the warlocks can also shoot up at it. And there's not enough there to kill the warlock or in one go. So it would be constantly replacing wards if we do it like that. But if I did like, if I did like a, um, that was an accident. If I like cut into this cliff right here, I might be able to do it. Um, this is almost complete. And then we can focus on this right here. And then when I feel a little bit safer, we might be able to do this part over here. Oh great, look at this, these guys are almost done. It only took them like two minutes. I could do a row of blocks just like this as well to further deter them. This one? Yep, delete. Turn on resource collection for the quarry here. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'll turn the resource collection with the priority down. There we go. 
fixes that. And it's starting to get dark again. Do I have more lights? I have more Sentinel Wars that they didn't place and they didn't also place that. Oh great, they're building up the wall here now. Excellent. the next wave. I'm trying to think about where to put a door because um, the doors are great. Even if I built up this area the way I already planned it, I can still have the, um, I can still do another section that comes out in this way and then this way as well. Put the door right here. Uh, we got a lot of iron. Excellent. That's great. down control and delete these three stockpiles right here and that's going to take those um, logs out of the game it's just going to remove them from the game because I have way too much wood oh great the healing wards in place excellent another ward start a low maze. Start doing a low maze right over here. Let's start it like, just like that. So one little hop they have to do. 20 seconds. I was just waiting for these two, Raviol and uh, Radis. Oh, that's not a good. That's not a good place for a ward, but hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, Raviol. Raviol's gonna go on a mission down there. I'm gonna station everybody like right here. Get out of there. It was too slow. I messed it up. Okay, this looks like a pretty good uh, area though. Oh, they're at the crystal now. 
be a lot better when I can stand him in the corner right there. Uh, one left, one... Where is he? Oh, okay. So these guys will put back to work and these three will stand watch. to do it. I, I sent him down here to pick this up and then without thinking I hit the cold arms button so he like went halfway down and back. It's alright though. Nothing happened. We still got our ward. Um, on, unlike Zuma, the map Zuma, the wards are like really precious because there's like almost no resources on that map other than what you dig for. So the, de the resources are a little bit more expensive than here. Um, because right here I can go up to this iron resource and get it. Um, and there's several brimstones. Um, two right there and there. Uh, but Zuma, I believe, only has like one or two deposits for the entire map. this down here too. Excellent. So when they go into the, like, when the corruptions are trying to path, they're trying to decide whether to, like, move around something or, like, smash through it. Um, with the tunnels here, it, I think it's, like, one... I think it's like one amount of points to what happened okay something happened it's like a certain amount of points to, I think to jump down and then another certain amount of points to punch through like stone or ore um, but then then I think it's a higher cost to punch through the blocks I'm not entirely sure though, but that's what it seems like something like that is going on. Um, and then whether they hop or not um, is another check that they do. I, I have no idea um, the specifics of it, but this is just what it seems like what I speculate. So what I know, one thing I noticed that is, if you dig a tunnel and then put a row of blocks next to it, um, with the stairs of the tunnel off like this, um, it's a little hard to see because it's dark right now. Um, but like this, really like just deters them from. They'll just walk around like this. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Okay, I think there's a ramp over here. Once it's a little bit lighter out, I'll be able to see what's going on over here in this section. I'm gonna rebuild these stockpiles. Excellent. Now, to further deter them, 
I could do like a tunnel right like right across here. Not to further deter them, but like to slow them down. Just do it like a but it'll slow my guys down coming in and out. So like once once all the work down in this area is complete, um, which I'm trying to do right now. Once most of the work down here is complete, then I'll think about doing like a I mean, I guess I could do it with stone or tunnel. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. I have three minutes till the next wave. And um, I have five of the brick chunks in the build job, which is great. No, I didn't check and see if they could actually... get to this section. I may have to do like some kind of scaffolding here. I think they, these guys are going to go over here now. But yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to do some kind of... Just bagel. Come here. You. Dig in these voxels so that way they can like just step down so it's a little easier for them to build. Go back here. Damn kid. There we go. So now they could just like jump down and, and do the inside here and excellent. Okay, off with you. Lantern somewhere? Got one there. Okay, I'm gonna queue up a couple uh queue up a couple more lights here. Get this place bright. Uh four lights right there. Maybe I'll just do um one in each shop here. And I'll do an armor kit. Where's my Oh I didn't build the forge yet. Okay. So new Workshop for the forge. In order for the forge workshop, and we'll put that like we'll put it over by the furnaces here. Oh yeah, that light is nice. <laughs> forge right there. Build it. Thirty seconds. Okay. Okay, we got one Biftron and five Minitrons. This is kind of a light wave. I was trying to... <laughs> I was trying to get them to pick up some stuff, but... Okay, they went around, like, right there. I wonder if the ones in the back can hit it? Yes.
Get out of there. Excellent. Excellent. I was afraid that uh, CC was going to die there. Quebec isn't back yet. Excellent. Back to work. Quebec is still uh, waiting to respawn. Okay, well that's all the time I have. Thank you very much for watching. And subscribe for more videos. I'm just gonna save the game.